Yes, sir. Uh, Madam Speaker, on stocks, um, I know you said a few weeks back that if members want to enact a ban um, on trading for lawmakers, um, you're open to that, you're okay with that. Yeah. I'm wondering, in light of recent reporting, um, you know, are, do you have maybe a majority of your caucus now behind this idea? Oh. And secondly, I know that the legislation is still in infancy. Um, will spouses be included as well? I well, think, I think let me just... I'm sorry, who did? Sorry? Who said it was important? Um, Walter Shaw is an ethics expert who said this is important. Others have said I don't know who he is. Okay. Um, <laughs> what matters to me is what my members think. And as a, as, well, as, a member has told me she's prepared to vote against it um, if it doesn't reach out. But you know what? They, we, I'm a big believer in our, co our committees, and uh, we've tasked the um, House Administration the to review the options that members are putting forth, and they have different views on the subject. But I'd said that a certain criteria that I wanted to see was whatever, whatever design they have for that, that's one. But the other is um, we have to tighten the fines on those who violate the Stock Act. It's obviously not sufficient to deter behavior. Uh, and then the third is just really it has to be government-wide. Uh, we make a disclosure every year of our, our financial disclosure. That's what it is. And, uh, and then in addition to that, on a regular basis, uh, what the, when there's a, tran a stock transaction, uh, to report that. The court system, the, the third branch of government, the judiciary, has no reporting. The Supreme Court has no disclosure. It has no reporting of stock transactions, and it makes important decisions every day. Uh, I do believe in the integrity of people in public service. I want the public to have that understanding. We have to do this to deter um, something that we see as a, a problem, but it is a confidence issue, and if that's what the members want to do, then that's what we will do. But the co Supreme Court and the judiciary, even the chairman of the um, Chief Justice has pointed out uh, some of the what he flirted with the word, or maybe used the word, scandals that have happened in the judiciary. So, I, Mike, they're listening to members about how it affects members. I'm also saying that we need, and and our members uh, have been saying this for years. Why does the Supreme Court of the United States have no uh, disclosure, financial disclosure? And now that we have the Stock Act to do that. There's another consideration, as you know, in the executive branch, when they, uh, dis when they are divest of their stock, they don't pay capital gains. So that's a an interesting feature. But it's complicated, and members will figure it out, and then we'll go forward with what the consensus is. Hmm? Will it be sometime this year that you're expecting to sort of vote? Well, yeah. I mean, I assume that they'll have it pretty soon. They're having meetings, I think, not as we speak, but in the course of, of now. But uh, uh, just for, in friendship, to say I know one person is going to vote against it. We had one person to vote against the Meats Act, too, the other day. But we had a tremendous, tremendous victory. What we're trying to build is consensus. Consensus. Uh, the plural of anecdote is not data. And what we want to do is have c c data that ha builds consensus. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 